Good morning to all. Um, this is going to be a serious video, so I'm not even going to do my usual intro like I always do, um, saying all the things that I usually say. Um, first of all, I want to apologize that we didn't get a video made last night. Um, you may understand as this particular video goes on. Um, Tristan's probably not going to be in this video. He's he's up, but he's kind of crabby. And again, you'll understand um, once I explain the video. So today at 1.30 p.m., Tristan was supposed to be participating in an eighth grade graduation ceremony, which is a huge deal and a huge accomplishment for him. Um, he's, th this is his last year of middle school. He's gonna be in high school next year. Um, so he's graduating middle school, he's graduating eighth grade. And he was really excited to go to the ceremony and everything was awesome and all set. But um, I got a text message from his teacher yesterday evening um, saying that he was um, he was in a meeting at the location that the ceremony is taking place and um, the meeting had to end early because there was continuous gunfire right outside the building right on the street there um, so the meeting had to end early, and he didn't say, but I can only presume that there was a lockdown or lockout of the building um, because of that situation. Now, this is the second shooting within only a few weeks time at that location. Um, I don't know why, but that particular area has become embattled. And he said that um, whatever I, I decide, um, he'll support it either way. And if we decide to go, of course, he would be there and everything. But I actually, talking to Tristan and everything like that, I made the decision that I don't think it would be safe for us to go. Um, I think the safest thing to do would be to stay home. Um, because a couple of times in just a few weeks of there being continuous gunfire right outside the building, it's, it's a battlefield, you know? You wouldn't take a child into an active battlefield at least I wouldn't know. Um, so I talked with Tristan about it and he's really disappointed, he's really upset, but he does understand that our lives are far more important than a graduation ceremony. So to make it up to him, we've had a little graduation celebration here at home. Um, I let him skip brushing his teeth last night. We ordered dinner last night. We ordered Arby's. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I let him stay up as late as he wanted with no bedtime last night. Subsequently, he did stay up until um, after 6 a.m. I don't know how he did it. I can't do that, or at least not easily. Um, I crashed out between 1 and 2 because I was just really thinking about the whole situation and how sad it was and um, whether I should make this particular video or not. And um, so he stayed up to after 6 in the morning so he did wake up at, at about 10.15 or so. 
um, which is why he's really on the grumpy side and I'm just gonna leave him be he's actually just chilling in his room right now but he is awake um, and yeah so what I want to address in this video is guns and shooting now I am not going to get all political with this post um, whether people have the right to bear arms or not whether there sh should be more restriction on age to purchase guns or not any of the political issues that the parties are fighting over their politicians let them argue that of course I have my very strong opinions about the particular issues politically but I am not ever going to make any of these videos political so please don't worry about that so regardless of the political issues you know the right to bear arms whether you know gun ownership should be restricted blah 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 I don't care right now what I cared about was keeping my son safe and that's what I'm going to address now I don't know the particular situations of the incident I don't know if it was two rival parties you know shooting it out over territory I don't know if someone just got really bad over a domestic and just lost it and started shooting I don't know if someone was doing something unlawful and the cops decided that it was necessary to shoot to protect the state of law and, and innocent bystanders. I don't know what side was shooting or the circumstances of the shooting or anything. That is not the issue. The issue in my eyes was the territory that it was happening. The issue was that it was near a place that is the home base of schooling where there are children around. And the choices that were made to, um, to shoot and set off their firearms in that area. If you're going to have a battle, choose an appropriate battlefield where only your rivals are the ones that are going to get hurt. Not where innocent people, children, will get hurt. That is my issue, is the carelessness that people making those choices are making. That is what my issue is. Um, if Think about it. And I brought this up to the teacher too because him and I text back and forth all the time and everything like that. Not all the time, but you know, often enough where we're acquainted. And you know, I told him, I'm like, because we were talking about whether I should, whether, um, in case I make the decision to bring Tristan to the graduation, I told him, being strongly opposed to it, that what if we were on the way there, just in our lift or whatever, or city bus or however we got there, it would actually be a lift because I don't take Tristan on a city bus, but that's another video for another time. But what if we were on the lift, on the way there, and an incident started happening and they put the building on lockdown so we couldn't even get in the building so we would just be out there bare no I wasn't having it at all and um I don't know I just think that right now if you're going to be a responsible gun owner, 
regardless of what my personal political beliefs on that particular aspect are, <coughs> Democrat, <coughs> I think that if you're going to be a responsible gun owner, then the key word in that phrase should be responsible. If you're going to battle, that's your poor decision to make, but choose an appropriate battleground. If, um, if there is a circumstance where it's law enforcement and it has to be where they have to um, incapacitate someone from doing harm to innocent bystanders, then I believe that gun and weapon manufacturers should design and make appropriate weaponry that can take out someone non-lethally. And I know there are some, like, you know, stun guns, tasers. I think there's, like, a gun that, like, just shoots out a, a net or something like that. I don't know for certain. I don't know anything about weapons like that. But I think that there should be a slight effort to make more non-lethal weapons that law enforcement officers can use to incapacitate someone. So, on the graduation ceremony day, here we are at home. Um, trying to think of ways to celebrate. Another ways that, um, that Tristan and I are going to celebrate is that um, I talked to the teacher and he's going to set up time aside in, in class online next week to celebrate people's victory. But again, it's, age, it's all ages and all grades, so I don't know exactly how that'll work. But I'm, I'm absolutely certain he'll figure it out. And, um, and also, we set up a time on Thursday during science class where Tristan is going to take over the teacher role and teach the students um, all about Pokemon. And, um, and that's what he's going to do. He's really excited and looking forward to that. He's already got uh, curriculums all set up in mind and that's going to be that's going to be a fun time for him. That's going to be a way to celebrate. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to talk a little bit more about what is going on in this world where there are other shootings in this world, obviously. But if you notice the amount and number of shootings that occur at schools, around schools, or anywhere that involve children. Now, two adults having it out, two adults, you know, standing back to back, they take a few places and they turn and fire. That is a different matter. That is two rivals for whatever reason wanting to take the appropriate steps in that matter and they choose their battlefield which is usually in an open field somewhere or something now I'm just using that as an extreme example because I do not believe that duels are allowed any longer but um, but I just think that people who are choosing to have firearms are being fairly irresponsible and careless with where they are using them. Now, 
I want to, I want it to be clear that I'm not an idiot. I know that, you know, in school shootings, there are those that are demented that carry their firearms and purposely shoot up schools and shoot and target students. I'm not talking about those people. That is a whole different issue and that is a whole different over an hour long video that could be made, but that would be more political. I'm talking about the people who are not purposely shooting at schools, at students and staff who are taking the liberty and shooting at each other, not caring where they are at. And it's the bystanders who are in danger. If they are shooting at each other, then regardless of whether that's, you know, whatever the reasons and everything like that, then it should just be at each other. And that's just my personal opinion. I mean, people talk about wars and how people are killing each other and everything like that in wars and there's and people say yes but that is war that is what happens in wars but narrow it down wars are not just between two countries wars can just be between any two set of people so if there is one group that is firing their weapons and another group that is firing their weapons, that is a war. And wars should be fought on appropriate battlefields. Tristan is not in a war. Tristan is not a combatant. I mean, sometimes he has a little attitude and talks back, but he's not a combatant. He is not at war, and he should not be a casualty of any said war. And with that being said, I'm not going to focus just on Tristan. If there's any students or any parents of any students who are in Tristan's class or anything, who happen to watch these videos and who happen to be watching this particular video. If you do decide to go to that graduation ceremony today, which is, um, you know where it is. I'm not going to name drop, I'm not going to name drop the location or anything. But if you do go, please stay safe. And if you happen to see this video before, please, I'm not t trying to change your mind, but I would just ask that you please give it a second consideration and think about it and then make a decision again to go or change your mind. You know, I'm not trying to influence either way. What this video mainly is, and I know it might be a little bit long, it's over 18 minutes right now, is I'm just kind of venting my frustration right now that because of people who are making very unwise choices and who could potentially be responsible gun owners were not being such. Again, I'm trying very, very hard to keep the politics and the particular political arguments away from this issue. And I'm just focusing on the safety of innocent bystanders, staff, parents, and children. Regardless of what your view politically on that particular issue is. And again, if you wish to have a discussion about the political issues, um, Please, by all means, you know, address me and I will 
and I, I will answer it in a respectful way, whether we agree or whether we disagree. But what I'm just focused on isn't political. It's safety. Um, I don't know what more I can say about it, really. Um, but I guess that is just my view. That if you're going to be a responsible gun holder, then be responsible. And I think that there should be a law, not about gun ownership per se, but I think that there should be a law that addresses the differential between responsibility and irresponsibility. And such as if the law is that you are able to purchase and own a gun, then that's a completely different issue. But I think the charge should be then, you know, you are charged with being irresponsible with that firearm. And that's what I think the charge should be, not the ownership per se, but what you do with that thing you own. Because if you think about it, if I own a car, there's absolutely nothing wrong with owning that car. But if I recklessly go hundreds of miles per hour and slam into people, and, oh, there's 80 points. I just got one. Oh, there's 150 points. I just got another one. Then, yes, the car would be, you know, I would be being irresponsible with that car and everything. So, um, and I also think that gun and ammunition manufacturers, I think one thing that can curb all this is for guns I think they should add three or four maybe five zeros on the price of those weapons and for a single bullet there should be at least three or four zeros per bullet on ammunition I don't think that there would be as many people who could afford to act so recklessly as some are acting. Now, I am trying to address this issue with my mind, not with my heart and feelings. Now, again, I have my own personal views on the whole situation. I have what my, I am on the side of politically in that whole discussion. Um, but that is what I think. Now, I am going to say, to wrap this video up, um, and I'll even say that this is a part one of the video because I might have more to say later on. I just don't want to keep rambling. But I do have to say my personal opinion is I think that the only people who should be able to get particular firearms is law enforcement and military. That's it. Now, as far as the right to bear arms, if you look at the wording in the Constitution of the right to bear arms or wherever it says right to bear arms, that's fine. If they, if it is believed 
that everyone has the right to bear arms, then limit what particular arms they have the right to bear. If, if they want to get, if they want to push the right to bear arms, give them a real old fashioned musket that was developed during the time that that particular right was written. Because at the time, the right to bear arms only referred to that time frame's weaponry. So fine, if they have the right to bear arms, give them that time frame's weaponry. And let's see what happens with that. And I think that um, also my particular view is that if you have the right to bear arms, fine, give them the right to bear arms, but do not give them the right to bear the ammunition for those arms. And, the, and I just wanted to, and I know I wasn't getting political with this video, but I just wanted to take the last minute or two, or I, I don't know how long it was, I didn't really keep track, I apologize, to just put my two cents on that particular issue. And now to end, I just want to make it clear that my particular view on the political side of the argument is um, is on the more democratic side of it. Um, children are dying and people are focusing on that a great deal. And that is a tragedy and I absolutely agree with that. But you have to realize and acknowledge the adults who are dying as well. And um, yeah, this video is almost a half hour long. I'm upset, I'm frustrated, I'm angry, um, but I am keeping Tristan safe and we're getting through this and we're, ha and we're trying to make it a happy time and a happy graduation. So just think, let me be clear, on the 16th of this month will be Tristan's official last day of being an eighth grader and next year, next school year, he will be a high schooler. Oh yeah. And now let's see what happens from then. If you do happen to view this video, um, I would appreciate a thumbs up for no, this time for no other reason, just so I know um, that you've watched it and acknowledge it. Um, I know it's, I know I can check and see how many views the video has had and I appreciate that as well. But, um, I'm also not going to give my usual closing out of the video. If you hear the music in the background, that's the alarm on my cell phone. Um, I'm not taking the time to go turn it off right now. So anyway, um... I really don't know what more to say. Um, I should be making a more lighthearted video later this evening. Um, it is the weekend where Tristan goes to my mother's. So he'll be going there um, from this afternoon until Sunday evening. So for the next videos that I will be making this weekend will be just me, Bevan, over there. Um, so yeah, and Tristan will return Sunday night, so Monday, the weeks will begin again. Be safe, everybody. And please understand the difference between being introverted, like me and Tristan are, and reclusive. There's, there's a fine line there. Um, that's it. See you in the next one. Bye.